All right, everybody, we had locals with Robert Kramer. He just got first place with us. What that now? Prank kids. Let's play with prank kids, though. Good guy, good guy. Let's see profile, man. All right. Uh, first, we start off with the normal three Roxies, extenders. Uh, all right, guys, so all he's saying is this is just the three of the rock duties. That is pretty good. Three of the gearing guys, pretty good, pretty fancy. Three drop sheets, um, game uh, 1000, summon, um, pretty good timing around. Uh, three lamb seeds, burns 500. And he's pretty much talking about how I always got to play it like that. He ain't said nothing else, but pretty good. And then he, for this edit, Edge and Saber, he said he played it because he played a Fryfer package for more consistency and things like that. Three Ash because it's three Ash, of course. Two Parallel Exceeds to make Abyss Dweller because he said Abyss Dweller is really good against the meta this format. So yeah, Abyss Dweller is God. Hope you guys like these edits, by the way. The audio came out so terrible, and I do apologize about that. I really do. And pretty much right here, just saying you need three drills because of the meta, Drytron, and every other deck that searches a lot. So he's so pretty much say you have to run three drills. It's crazy. Definitely. Spells. Three place. Um, I see a lot of people um, play two. Um, but I normally just play three because if I... So he's pretty much saying if you open up with two, he can always banish one with Roxy's and draw one. So he's pretty much running this limit for consistency. Play two pranks. I want to play two because each time you play one, if they cosmic cyclone this or evenly match this, there's no way you can recycle all your cards back, except for the trap card. Right. Um, play the one instant fusion, then you bring this back up to three. Um, three pandemoniums. Uh, it's a quick play. You gotta play three. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'd rather play three of this and two polymerizations. And speaking of that, I play two polymerizations. <laughs> and everything. Hey, top polymerization is not a quick play spell. And to stop like the dryer effect or some other effects to target, I always change um, pandemonium. And it in this part of the deck profile right here, I asked him would he play greater poly. He said he'll play it at one um, because Butler can do piercing damage and things like that. Him with um with greater poly because he can do piercing and if you combine him with bow wow he'll be like at 45 four thousand attack and he does piercing okay. so one greater poly will be fine i'm gonna I'm play test it when the car, uh, car come out uh one for one because fancy is a one just in case they stop you at uh, stop you with the ash terraforming normal over the grave then you bring this back up to three yeah um two pfeiffer password um just because it search out um polymerization that's all it um is um three tactics um just because i get hit with a hand trap or dragoon i can take it or draw two card look in your hand it's still pretty good and the one lonely trap card now um one of this well uh spencer spencer <laughs> <laughs> that's a uh, one ribbon rooster one access code, one butler. Only play one butler because I'm not playing the um, Verende Anaconda bill. Um, one toe, one washer, one uh, world chalice. Only reason I play this is because this you can easily make it with um, Meow Meow and um, the other prank kid, Link Monster. And this is this is your out to Dragoon because it does not target. It, oh. it does not target whatsoever. Um, two rocket ride. I see a lot of people play one, but I still gotta play two just in case they get hit with the infinite permanence or effect veil or whatever. Um, two meow meows. I want to play three, but two is fine. That's the new card. Right? That's the new card. It can make all your going second on um, it monsters use their effects twice, um, except for washer and um, bow wow. But um, you can keep them on the field. You don't have to worry about tributing them. Um, two dodos um, and. Two Bow Wows. Okay. Only reason I play Bow Wow, a lot of people don't play one Bow Wow, but I play two Bow Wow because if you're trying to oh, trying to get past a big ass monster, just summon two Bow Wows and point it to a monster, a prank kid monster, and he gains an extra 2,000 attack. And that's what I do with um, Battling Butler. I just make two um, Bow Wow, point it to him, and he'll be at um, 5,000 attack. Okay. Side deck a secret or you gonna, um, oh, no, not Side Deck ain't secret. I'm okay. definitely put it the Side Deck. My Side Deck always changes. <laughs> Okay. Um, side deck is three droplets. Expensive. Um, three evenly match. Three Nibiru's. Um, the MVP is uh, they're going to be one. 
Yeah. <laughs> Stop so many uh, decks right now. Car's so broken. And the card that everybody hate the most, Mystic. Yeah, <laughs> and the one lonely token that they need to fucking put this, um, <laughs> my prank kid token in the OTS pack. And that's basically it. What accomplishments you got with it? Uh, you just kind of regional, man. Yeah, I did play, um, at the regional when I made top eight with so it. Um, I like the deck. I, I love the deck. I love the design of the deck uh, when it first was revealed about it. Uh, I didn't care what they did. I just care about how they looked it. And they looked it funny to me. And I, and I told people that this deck is going to be like a sleeper deck when it comes out. Nobody didn't know how to play it. And it, it is. It's a fun competitive deck. No matter what, this deck would never get bored of this deck. Um, if they keep on bringing out more support for this deck, it's going to just make it a lot more better and better and better and better and better. And if if people wasn't playing Wenda at that time when Orcus was playing it, Instant Fusion would still be at three and everything. And it would make the deck way better because you can just make totally awesome in the best well of turn one. But now since we got Meow Meow back again, you don't have to worry about brick no more. It's a simple one card combo. So if you open up um, a prank hit monster and the tactics and everything, you, you got combo. And there and are you excited for it to come out for today? In the future, from the LCG that you may have seen? Um, I was hoping for uh, uh, Cross of Destiny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was hoping for Cross of Destiny. That, 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 that's the one card that I truly need in this deck because I can stop all hand traps now. Yeah. All the hand traps that I'm, um, people using, I'm using, I'm using two in my deck. And Cross of Destiny will 100% help me out. But it's the fact that we didn't have it, and I, I, it was a failure for Blazing Vortex. I was hoping that we got it. I'm hoping that don't put it as a YCS prize card because that's going to be so, so bad. Nobody don't got time to be spending so much money just f – and you got to get three copies. That's even bad. That's even way bad. So if they put it as that, uh -uh. I'm hoping that they just put it as a ghost rare and go from, go from the past, and I'd be fine with me. But I'm hoping that. That's the only card that I'm hoping um, it comes out. And I might try out the new pot card, um, Pot of Disparity, okay. when it comes out because um, sure it's, it, it locks you out, out your rocks effect. But if you use rocks first, um, then use um, Pot, it, 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 you don't care about that. You still got your combo on uh, rating and everything. Else. And it's like, the only reason I want to play Pot is because if you can't make Toll or Abyss Weller or any of your cards that you don't use in your extra deck turn one, you can just get rid of them. Uh, grab a hand trap, grab Droll, Ash, whatever. The Biru, and uh, you'll be set. Instead, you be like, oh, I hope I draw to it. Nah, that card is 100%. You don't have to play three, play two at the most. I'd rather play that in, instead of Pop Desires, because I don't. I hate banishing my top three cards, top ten cards, and I look shitty as hell. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's the only cards I'm hoping um, for this set. There's nothing in Ghost from the Past I want, um, and we don't know... Um, nothing really from Lightning Overdrive yet, so uh, we still got like three more months of Blazing Vortex to go. And when March come, hopefully this ban list, please bring back Maxi for the <laughs> love of God. Bring back something that can help out the meta, or oh man, yet bring back Colossus, Colossus to one. Let's do. Like I already got something. Too. Colossus to one. <laughs> like, like, like. Literally, I understand that everybody named Mother would probably play play. Thunder Dragons, but come on, man. Like, at least at least that can be an out to it. Like, we, we got Infinite Permanence. We got Dark Ruler. We got um, Nibiru. We got Droplet. We got all type of stuff. But in this format, when people just say VFD, good luck, it, it's not fun no more. It, it, it's not. Like, it's, it's crazy. This this battle didn't do nothing, which I, I, I completely understand. No big no big meta um, decks right now. Uh, events right now. But right now, I'm getting sick and tired of seeing Drytron, Virtual World, Drytron, Virtual World, Drytron, Virtual World. That's all I'm seeing right now. I used to hate dinosaurs, but now I don't even hate dinosaurs no more. It's, <laughs> it's a simple because I don't see it no more. I'm like, I see nothing but Drytrons, Virtual Worlds. Pass with Fancy Rulers and the Herald. Hope for the best. So I'm like, nah, they got to change something up with this um, format up. And um, But right now, I'm glad to coming back. Um, Back to um, my car shop again, Top Cut. Um, one first place with the Prank Kids deck that I love. Um, I might play this one more time and give it a rest because I want to uh, play my Sephiroth with the new pop car come out. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to have to wait for that um, when the set comes out and see. Appreciate the profile, bro. No problem, bro.